Hi, for this video, what I want to do is use Venn diagrams to determine the validity of a deductive argument. Basically, with the Venn diagrams, what you're going to do is you're going to create a box that represents the set of all things, and then you're going to draw circles and X's to represent the premises. You're basically looking to see if the conclusion follows logically from the premises that are given, so from the known information. So for the first one, we have the premise that all fish live in the water. We also have the premise that dolphins are not fish, and we're looking to see does it follow logically that dolphins do not live in water. So we're looking to see if we can prove conclusively from the premises that we have that our conclusion is valid. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with drawing a box. Since we are using a Venn diagram, we do draw a box to represent the universal set. This is all things that could happen in any situation. Okay, then what we are going to do is we are going to draw circles to represent the first premise. So in the first premise, we have things that live in the water. Okay, and we know that all fish live in the water. So we're going to draw another circle inside of this to represent fish. So the entire circle, since it says all, anytime it says all, the entire circle will be contained in the other set. So this is the set of all fish. Inside of that, there are things that live in the water. Okay, so our next premise is that dolphins are not fish. So with the dolphins not being fish, we know that dolphins could be here or they could be here. Uh, the textbook that I use right now, instead of drawing two X's like I did, if it can go in two places, they put the X on the circle. So if there's an X on the circle, represents it could be inside or outside. Uh, so either way can be done. Like I said, the textbook that I'm doing right now, whenever it can go in either inside or outside, you're unclear on where it's going to be, you can put it on the circle to represent that it could fall in either place. You can also draw it this way. Like I said, there's more than one way of doing this. And unfortunately, it makes my job harder because I am teaching people on YouTube, but I know that everybody uses various resources. But like I said, the textbook that I'm currently teaching from, if it's unclear whether it should be inside or outside of the circle, they put it on the circle. In other textbooks that I have taught from pri previously, they've done the other method, so either one can be used. But this would be an invalid argument because we do not know for sure that dolphins do not live in the water. Um, so anytime that you can put the second premise in more than one spot, then it does not follow logically, so it would be an invalid argument. All right, so let's look at another example. Again, we're going to start with drawing a box to represent all things that can happen. Okay, and then we're going to start with each of our premises. So our first premise is that a narcotic is habit forming. Our second one is Tylenol is not habit forming. And then we want to see, does it follow logically that Tylenol is not a narcotic? So basically what's going to happen, if there's obviously only one place to put the second premise, then it's going to follow, um, the conclusion will follow logically. If you're unsure where to put it and there's a, more than one place that it can go in, then it's going to be an invalid argument and it doesn't follow logically. So with this one, a narcotic is habit forming. So basically we have things that are habit forming. Inside of that, we have narcotics. So narcotics are things that are habit forming. Okay. Our next premise is that Tylenol is not habit forming. So that means that Tylenol has to be outside of the larger circle. 
There's only one place to put this because it's on the outside of this green circle. It can't be inside the green circle anywhere since Tylenol is not habit forming. The conclusion Tylenol is not a narcotic since Tylenol has to be outside of the habit forming circle. This would be a valid argument because since Tylenol cannot be inside of the circle of things that are habit forming, it cannot be inside of narcotics, and since all narcotics are habit forming, they fall inside the circle. Hopefully this helps you to get an idea of how to use Venn diagrams to decide if a deductive argument is valid or not. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.